Hello and welcome to the subject of research methods. We are going to talk about objectives of research. Objectives of research. The first point is in general research objectives describe what we expect to achieve by a project. So in general what we mean by objectives of research uh, are that we objectives means what we expect to achieve by a project what do we want to do in a project now what is our goal what is our aim what exactly we want to get out of this research project that is in general the meaning of objectives of research point number 2 our research objective addresses the purpose of investigation and types of knowledge to be generated out of one's investigation so a research objective or objective of research it addresses your purpose of investigation your purpose of research what do you want to get out of your research activity and what kind of knowledge you are going to generate out of your investigation out of your research out of your study and information and so on three though each research study has its own specific purpose the objectives of research can be grouped into the following categories each research study has its own particular special purpose specific purpose however here we have grouped objectives of research into some categories in order you understand better number 1 general objectives two a specific objectives three immediate objectives four ultimate objectives we move on to the next general objectives the general objective of a study states what is expected to be achieved by the study in general terms the general objective of a study it states it expresses uh, what is to be achieved overall what is the general aim of conducting this research for example if the problem identified is the low utilization of child welfare clinics the general objective of the study could be to identify the reasons for the low utilization of child welfare clinics in order to find solutions look there is one problem and un until you have a problem you cannot have a research so for example say if you have one problem and the one problem is that low utilization of child welfare clinics means there are um, there is a ch there are child welfare clinics and uh, that child welfare clinics are not to be utilized so much so what are the reasons what are the causes of low utilization of child welfare clinics we have to study in general term so to study and to conduct this kind of investigation and research in general term so you could focus upon like this to identify the reasons for the low utilization of child welfare clinics in order to find solutions so to find out low utilization of child welfare clinics the general aim will be to identify the reasons why uh, the low why there is a low percentage of child welfare clinics why they are not being used okay next for example in a study to examine the contribution of goat farming in poverty alleviation the general objective may be termed as follows to assess the impact of investment in good farming for poverty alleviation in rural areas so the, this could be the general aim for example i take the example of for example any university in the university normally the students don't come to the college and uh, the attendance is very low so i want to conduct a research that why the attendance of a students in the university is low so the my general aim will be to find out the reasons that make or that obstruct or hurdle a students coming to the college 
that is the general aim okay go to the next a specific objectives given that we have rightly stated the general objectives it is advisable to break it down into several smaller logically connected parts these are normally referred to as specific objectives look specific objectives are more focused more well connected with the theme of the research what it means here is that the general objectives it is just to generalize have an overview of the idea of the investigation what we are going to get but as specific objectives you become more particular and try to find out the solutions to the problem you break into a smaller several smaller and logically connected parts in order to achieve a specific objectives next a specific objectives should systematically address the various aspects of the problems defined under the statement of the problem and the key factors that are assumed to influence or cause the problems so a specific objectives are very systematic they have to address the core of the problems and the core of the problems is explained in the statement of the problem and we have also to come with the factors that influence or cause the problems next they should specify what you will do in your study where this study will be done and for what purpose so a specific objectives they are more definite more accurate and uh, uh, they help you in deciding what exactly you will study in your study you will do in your study and then you will go down to the more specific questions like where this study will be done conducted and what will be the purpose outcome next if formulated properly a specific objectives will facilitate the development of the research methodology and will help the researcher to orient the collection analysis interpretation and utilization of data once you have formulated your specific objectives your specific objectives will guide you how to orient collection of data analysis of data interpretation of data utilization of data and so on so just think the difference between general objectives and specific objectives general objectives objectives in general like why students are not coming to the college low attendance in the college but a specific objectives if you want to conduct a specific if you want to conduct research on the same topic then you have to go into some more details if the students are not coming to the college then you have to find out the specific reasons what are the specific reasons what are the causes are some students sick are some students have communications problems that they are not coming to the college every day or uh, uh, do they come from far off and so on so specific objectives they force you they inspire you to go into uh, further deep into the subject matter okay next immediate objectives immediate objectives serve to indicate the focus of the proposed research in behavioral terms the objective should specify the following following points why are we going to do the study who will collect the study when will the study be conducted what are we going to study whom will the study cover how will the study be conducted look all these why who when what whom how all these questions are of immediate concern immediate objectives help you or facilitate you in the process of conducting the research if you don't answer these questions then you will not have direction in which you want to be systematic and more organized in the field of research that is why look here the why question addresses the rationale and objectives of the study what is the rationale what is the justification 
why do you want to research conduct the research the whose question is designed to identify the individuals forms or organizations responsible for implementing the study who will for whose next who will conduct the research the when question seeks to know the study period the duration of time a study takes a research takes the what question addresses the issue of a statement of the problem including the key variables okay the what question talks about the issue of a statement of the problem why you have selected the particular problem and why you are going to conduct the research what will you include into this the whom question seeks to answer the population to be studied that is the population means that is the sample to be studied the area of research that you will collect data and whom upon whom will you collect data next the how question seeks to know the methodology to be followed including the research design and sampling strategy to be employed so these are the objectives of research especially immediate objectives of research next ultimate objectives most applied research studies have a statement of ultimate objectives that focuses on how the results will be used to motivate the program managers and policy makers for implementing and executing the recommendations followed from the survey results look ultimate objective means the final objectives you have conducted the research you have the results in your hand but what are this results for whom upon whom will this results be applied who will implement the recommendations that we make that we uh, have referred to how those recommendations will be implemented by the program managers and policy makers that we call ultimate objectives because the ultimate objectives is related to the implementation of the findings of the research ultimately the goal of the research is to let the result be utilized in the context for which it has been conducted let the research be used for the purpose for which it has been conducted so ultimately who will implement the results of the research that is about ultimate objectives we move on to the next questions one what do you mean by objectives of research explain briefly so explain briefly what do you mean by objectives of research no need to write in detail two what are the different categories of objectives of research All right there are names only do not explain you just have to write the names like general objectives specific objectives then we have immediate objectives ultimate objectives and that's all okay questions next time explain any two categories of objectives of research in detail there are four categories you explain any one of the categories you like most general objectives a specific objective immediate objective ultimate objective you can choose any two of them and write a bit in detail okay thank you and goodbye